During the reception, your eyes can take away from the six guys with Jungkook. You know, these are Jungkook's accomplish to make your wedding happen. YN, your husband said. You gaze at him and say, what? I'll introduce you to my team. You're about to say you don't want to or being mean to him. But you realize that is your opportunity to find out who among them is Jungkook accomplished. They want to play? Then you'll play with him. Sure, why not? A fake smile cut into your face. He guided you and walked towards to the table of Jungkook's squad. Guys, I want you to meet YN. My wife. One by one greeted you and introduced themselves with the guy from the bar spoke. Remember me? Jin asked. Of course. How can I forget you? Hello boys, I'm Liu Yn. Ah I just want you to know that whoever came up with the idea for the wedding venue is a genius. Jin suddenly laughs while clapping his hand and says, You should thank me because I came up with that idea. Then a guy named Taeyong spoke also. But Yong, remember, I was the one who came up with the idea of abducting her. I caught you. I didn't expect you to be this quick to admit. I thought you weren't easy. You're waiting for the others to speak, but no one has opened up, so you can say they are not involved in the plan for adopting you. In your thought, you have to be kind to your enemy to win their heart so you can take your revenge. That's what you learn from being the daughter of a mafia. After the wedding reception, you two go straight to the new house that Jungo purchased a few days ago. So basically, since you two will marry now, you will live there from now on. Do you want to take a shower first? He asked. Nah, you first. You replied acting cool and not nervous, but actually, your heart is pounding so fast. He entered the wardrobe. Later on, he came back and handed you his clothes. Your things will arrive tomorrow, so you can use this for a meantime. I know it's not comfortable to sleep with that wedding dress. You just look at him. In fairness, this person also knows how to think. You know why, Anne? Just think that we are really for each other since we already know before that we will get married one day. So let's just forget the bad things that happened between us and get along. You smirk and say, Okay, let's do that. Get along in your dreams. After he took a shower, he came out half naked. You became weak again after you sold his body, but you need to control yourself. So you just went to the bathroom instead. After a few minutes, you are done. You're supposed to sleep in the sofa, but you thought you can't show your weaknesses. So even though you are nervous since this is the first night of your marriage, you still lay on the bed next to him. Don't try to do stupid things, Jungkook. I can't promise that. He said and came closer to you after he saw your eyes close. 
but he felt something hard object pointed at his waist. He checked it and saw that it was a gun you are holding. Do you think I'm not ready for this? If you don't want your own gun to kill you, then behave. He suddenly laughed and said, I'm going to fall in love with you even more because of what you're doing. You freeze for a moment, but after that, you just take these words for granted because for you, it's just his tactics to make your life in hell. Never. I will not fall for your tactics. Okay, fine. Relax. I'll behave. He smirked and removed his shirt. Yeah, Jungkook! You said and immediately get up. What? I didn't do anything to you. It's not my fault if I'm hot. Don't look at his body. Don't. You bite your lips and into the pillow. You lay on the bed and just close your eyes. It's getting late at night, but you can't sleep. You are not comfortable sleeping with someone else in the bed. You slowly turn your head on your side and see that Jungkook is already sleeping. You slowly turn your whole body to face him and stare at him secretly. He looks so innocent when he's sleeping. You swallow your saliva as your eyes goes down his body. Then you notice that your hand slowly goes to his chest without you realizing. Yeah, why and behave? You close your arms, trying to calm down yourself. Then Jungkook opened his eyes that made you flinch. Why are you stop yourself from touching my body? I'm your husband. You can have me. You have no idea that Jungkook is awake. He's just observing you. In your embarrassment, you kicked him hard and fell to the floor. Oh no! Jungo, are you okay? He don't answer as you found out that he was fainted. The next day, you know you made a mistake. So you woke up early to prepare breakfast as a bride. Later on, you heard footsteps coming. Ah, my foot! I think my legs are broken. Wait. What happened? Oh, I remember now. Someone kicked me last night, and the rest is history. Right, YN? You pretend you don't know what happened. I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? Then I will remind you. I caught you drawing at me last night, but because you couldn't accept that, you fell in love with me, and you were embarrassed. You kicked me. Excuse me, I'm not in love with you. Then, what should I do to make you fall in love with me? Because if you ask me, I'm in love with you. He said and stared at you. You can see in his eyes that he is serious and he is telling the truth. Your stirring session disturbed after you heard a familiar voice shouting outside the house. Luna! It's me, Carlo! Tell me it's not true that you're already married, please! You run to the balcony and see Carlo being forced to leave by Jungkook's men. How did you find me here? Is that the kid who is madly in love with you? Aish, why am I being jealous of a kid? Tell your people don't hurt him. He is just a kid. I want to tell him we're married by myself. He said and pick you up from the ground and carry you going outside. Put me down. Shh. Behave. If that kid sees us like 
this, he will definitely stop being crazy about you. As you got closer, you could see the disappointment in Carlos' face. Nuna, what's the meaning of this? Can't you see? Your Nuna is in love. I'm not talking to you. Ow, you want to die? Jungkook, it's better to die rather than seeing Nuna with you. You get down and say, Carlo, just forget me, okay? Nuna, I know you don't love him. What are you talking about, kid? I will show you that we love each other. Jungkook held your waist and pulled you closer to him as he kissed you in front of Carlo. Your soul went out for a second from your bloody. Because of what Jungkook did, Carlo just cried and left brokenhearted. What did you do? Kiss you? I'm sorry if I broke the kiss soon. If you want, I can kiss you again. In your annoyance, you jumped to give him a high kick. But you didn't hit his face. The distance from his face and your feet was one inch. Next time, if you kiss me without my permission, you will be dead mad. Well, you are not a bad person. You want to revenge without hurting Joe Brooks, a compilation. You planned this for how many days and now your plan is complete. So that not obvious that you're planning something, you invited the squad to have dinner or it's like housewarming party. The whole day, you're nice to Jung, so he wouldn't suspect. The whole squad arrived. You had a happy meal while talking anything. After dinner, you served them a tea. Why are you so nice today? Mm, I realize you are right. Even before, I already know that we're getting married. So instead of hitting you, let's just do the things to make our marriage work out. The boys agree with what you said. Until Jungkook felt busy and fell on the chair that Jin was sitting on. What's wrong? As they saw you smirking. What did you do? He didn't finish what he said when they fell down one by one and fell asleep. They had no idea that you put sleeping pills in the tea they drank. Even Jungkook men were asleep. You took your phone and called your own squad. After 30 minutes, they came. Boys, take that four to the guest room and that three, I will take care of them. The next day. RM, J-Hope, Suga, and Jin wake up in the same room. Later on, you knock and walk in. Good morning boys, breakfast is ready. What happened? Why are we here? You don't remember? You fell asleep on the sofa, so I asked someone to move you here, to the guest room. Suga looked around, as if he was looking for someone. Where's Jin, Taeyong, and Jungo? Ah, them? Somewhere on the road? All of them got panic and get up after you tell them the road because that is a code that you did something to them. Meanwhile, at the palace of King Poseidon, ruler of the Seven Seas, Jungkook, Jin, and Theong walk up to the sound of falling water and people laughing but they didn't understand what those people are saying they wondered why they were laughing while looking at them until finally they saw themselves where is my hair why i am wearing this pink dress 
Jungkook just stand by looking at himself disgustingly. Then he noticed a letter on his pocket. I am a type of person who is serious about love and it's not easy to deal with. But if you are really serious that you love me and you are sure that you can deal with me, come here within three hours so I can say in front of you, okay? I like you too. Boys, let's go home right now. Go home? How? Bro, we're in Singapore. <laughs>